I told you there would be a moment. Well, guess what? The moment's here. The fire is coming. Let's go! Boxing King Media, David Adelaide, fresh off a crazy, crazy viral knockout in Saudi Arabia. First time in Saudi? First time in Saudi, it is. Not the first time in the Middle East, but it's the first time in Saudi. First impressions of Saudi? I like it here, man. Hospitality has been second to none. They're looking after us. Um, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, here for the big fight. Um, tell me, man, what, what are you feeling? Try and take your Queensbury hat off and give us a prediction. I genuinely think, I mean, Tommy should go out there and do the business. Um, but it's going to be a good fight, regardless. I think it's going to be a good fight, it's going to be interesting, and I don't see it going the distance. I think if it goes the distance, everyone will be disappointed. What do you make of the way? Because some people are saying Tommy might have burnt too much energy there. It's all a load of crap, do you know what I mean? What does that actually mean, you're burning energy? No idea, man. You boxing people use that word a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just a way for fighters to try and psych themselves up. Oh, he's burning all of that energy. Mate, he's going to go home and eat and relax for God knows how many hours. He ain't burning no energy. If he did that, he could still run five miles, you know what I mean? So it doesn't really mean anything, to be fair. Good man. Just, come, uh, I want to speak about yourself. You're coming off a crazy, crazy knockout. Um, you had a bit of criticism early in your career and you come back and how does it feel to now get um, recognition and praise after a bit of negativity? I don't know, I don't really take it in. You know, uh, there's a saying, if you allow them to give you joy, you allow them to take it away. I don't focus on that. You know, I just focus on myself and do me. And um, being the person I know I can be and the person I am behind closed doors. Good man. And what, what is next for you? Because people are saying British title fight is obviously uh, Fabio Wardley, but have you got a mind, uh, somebody in mind? Nobody in mind uh, per se, just climbing up the ladder and whoever takes the fight, takes the fight. Um, but yeah, these fighters need to mind out when, they, when they're calling me out and when they're getting confident. I know a couple of people will be getting confident, so when I see them, we'll see what's really going on. I, I think I saw a few comments, people are saying, oh, you, you should fight Sakalowski again. Would you ever go up down that route again or is that... Chapter I asked that fight straight away, the man didn't want it. I hit that man clean and after my, three, after my fight with that man, he goes over to a friend, he goes over to my coaches and he's like, mate, that man wax. Like, he didn't want it again. I would have taken it. The man's a nobody, no disrespect. Like, I mean, I'm going to stop talking about the man. My career's progressed way more than that. Um, the man couldn't tie my shoelaces in 2023, mate. Trust me, I'd stop him in rounds. When somebody says Big D, David Alec, Adelaide can whack, I believe them because he showed that in the last fight. Just talking of your nickname as well, Big D, we were just saying off camera, he is one of the most random names in boxing. You can just run, run your imagination wild with it. I mean, that's for them, right? I mean, I don't say nothing about it. They just do it. Uh, is the D because of your first name initial or is there any other reasons? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just got to start getting called Big D and all of a sudden, that was my name. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to think because it obviously you see what six five six four six five so a big D okay good man anything else you add uh, Dave before I let you go no man just tune into the fight tune into my career and I appreciate everyone at home that shows their love and I appreciate everyone at home that shows their hate too just keep doing you you know what I mean uh, and yeah man shout out Boxing King Media top man I appreciate that I'm going to sh let people know what you're wearing as well because I think you're blinging it out in Saudi trainers this is just a normal day yeah. I always stay drippy you know what yeah. I mean you got to look handsome so that's it good drip man thank you appreciate your time I told you there would be a moment well guess what the moment's here the fire's coming Let's go!